Hello, Cancer viewers. And this is just a quick love message. I am still going to be doing my readings on the first of the month as well. So this is just this is just a random random love message is coming out. Um, I just dyed my hair, so that's why my hands are like that. <laughs> Pair with me. Um, and let's see what the cards want to say. I've been spying on you. I observe and notice every little thing about you. I read your social media posts. I'm jealous. I'm afraid you already are or will end up dating somebody else. I had a huge epiphany. I can't tell if you're interested. I'm bad at picking up hints. You have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. This is someone who, yeah, I feel like you're manifesting somebody new. And this is someone from the past that's kind of feeling that energy. They're spying on you, but they're not doing much. I thought about going on a vacation with you. Oop. Part of me wants to just come knock on your door or intentionally bump into you somewhere I know that you'd be. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. I'm being watched. I want to reach out. But there are other people around me. I looked for love in all the wrong places. I feel like some of you are saying too bad. Like you, you wanted to have your cake and eat it too. Too bad. Some of you, it's like too little, too late. You're not doing it again. I, I think this is an ex who... I feel like this is divine justice too, where it's like now the tables have turned and they're the one that ones that want to pursue you. But I think that you're, I'm getting the vibe that you're over it. I don't feel like you're, you might have some feeling left for this person, but I feel like it's not something that you want to go back to though. I just get like too little too late. Like they took you for granted when they have, when they had you and you're not wanting to do it again. And they're still in some situation where there's people around them wanting to, uh, I feel like some of them might have chosen a karmic over you, a third party, and I think that it really hurt you at first, but I think that now you're just like, you know what, you, you have fun with that. You're there, there, there's bad karma coming for that person. I feel like if they, if they did, because I feel like somebody broke, I feel like the karma at first, some of you, I feel like this person actually, the person that they chose you over, I feel like that person also was in a marriage or they were in a commitment of some sort, or they had someone they were talking to. So I feel like there's kind of bad karma all around for that. So it's, it's kind of good that you're detaching and stepping away from that situation. Um, but yeah, it feels like somebody who chose a karmic over you and now it's like, they're just regretting it or they chose, a. They might not have chosen a karmic for some. It's like they might have just chosen work or they had other priorities. I just get a kind of, I get, I don't know how to explain this energy. I'm trying to figure out the, try to word the, the energy that I'm channeling. It's not like quite a shyness that I get from this person, but similar to that where it's like an awkwardness where it kind of feels like somebody who lacks life experience or they lack a lot of emotional depth is kind of the vibe I get from this person where it just feels like they're, um, it's like they hesitated too many times. I just get like a nervousness where they're like, they should have done something and they just kept not, they, they kept choosing to be complacent. They kept whatever the situation was, even if it wasn't a third party, they just, they kept choosing to not take action when they needed to. They kept choosing to just kind of stick in their, stick with their comfort zone and just kind of be complacent and just, I feel like they tried to, I feel like they thought they would have more time. I feel like they thought like, oh, I'll do it, you know, I'll, I'll say something tomorrow or I'll do something tomorrow. And it just, tomorrow never came. It just kept going on and on and on like that. And eventually they just lost you. Eventually you just kind of got bored with this. Or like I said, for some, they might've chosen a third party over you. I feel like the third party might've been more assertive. It's like you wanted this person to pursue you. This person's kind of a baby, honestly. Like, I don't think you're missing out much. I don't, I don't think you're missing out on much here. This person is kind of a big baby. Like this is not a real man or a real woman. This is some, this is somebody who's uh, like, this is, this is somebody who probably still lives at home with mommy, to be honest. Like I'm, and there's, I, I shouldn't have said that. Like there's nothing wrong with like living, like the economy is rough right now. There's nothing wrong with living at home, like with your parents. There's nothing wrong with that. I totally get that. But I mean, in the sense, like, you know, the type that's like, just you know, like living in their mom's basement and screaming at their mom to make them 
more pizza rolls and you know just playing video games for 10 hours a day like it's it's that kind of energy like this person doesn't know what to do with with love like they don't they you know what I mean like this person's kind of a child is basically what I was trying to say there it probably came out wrong but um but yeah you dodged that bullet I don't feel like I don't feel like you wanted this I don't I don't think you want this now I feel like back then you might have wanted it might have heard if they chose someone else because they might have chosen someone I honestly feel like this person's looking for a mommy or a daddy type and I feel like they didn't know what to do with somebody like you because you were just in your power and you wanted them to step up and pursue you. And it's it's like they weren't really doing that. And it was just you guys were kind of just at a standstill. And so I think that they met some really insecure man or some really insecure woman who was who was willing to do that, who was willing to be their mommy, who was willing to, you know, step up and and uh and pursue them and and take on both the masculine and feminine role for them and do all the work for them. You know what I mean? Like they they so they went with a more assertive person, but I feel like now they're regretting it and they're just kind of trapped with this person. They're this person ended up being kind of controlling, I feel, and and so now they're just kind of stuck and they're like, "Damn, like I should have done something, but it's kind of too late." I feel like you're manifesting somebody new. I don't feel like you really want this this child anymore. Um, yeah, I've come so close to messaging you. I start typing and then I end up overthinking. I end up overthinking and I end up deleting everything that I wrote. My guides constantly remind me of you. I can't escape the synchronicity. Your name co comes up in conversation. I'm honestly, I'm honestly getting the energy from this that they're... <laughs> You have some funny spirit guides. You have some spirit guides. You might have some trickster type spirits around you. Some of you might have Loki as a spirit guide, to be honest, because I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting Loki energy from this, honestly. I'm getting spirit guides that are like you might have like an ancestor or somebody who's kind of sassy. Or you have a you have a spirit guide or it's like an ancestor. You have somebody, some kind of spirit that's just very sassy is what I'm getting. Because I get this this energy. It's like your spirit guides could have totally let this go, but your spirit guides were pissed on on your behalf. And I feel like your spirit guides are going to this person and they're kind of rubbing it in their face. They're almost it's like you have one spirit guide. I'm seeing like a like a sassy. <laughs> Like a, a, a sassy, I'm getting for somebody I'm getting, I'm seeing like a, a sassy black mama. Like I love her energy. She's amazing. Like I'm seeing somebody who's kind of overweight and somebody who's, it's like, she's very gentle. You know what I mean? She's very like loving and motherly, but she's like, she's sassy too. <laughs> You don't want to mess with her. She'll put you in your place. I'm just, I'm cracking up at this energy I'm feeling, but, but yeah, but it's different for everybody, but, but whoever, like for this energy group, I feel like there's like some spirit guides that are, that are with this person and they're, um, they're basically reminding them, you know, like you could have had this, you could have had all this, but you lost it. You messed up. You're never going to find somebody like you. Like they're rubbing it in this person's face right now. Oh my God. This is hilarious. I want to fix this. I'm going to reach out, but I'm not sure where to start. I almost feel like this person, I almost feel like this spirit guy wants them to reach out just so that you can have the closure and you can have the upper hand and you can be the one. They want you to have that justice. They want you to be able to be the one to say no to this person, to be like, nah, you had me. You took me for granted. You didn't want to, you know, you chose somebody else. You don't get another chance after that, you know or you cheated or you whatever they did it's like this <laughs> this spirit guide is like it's like they're pushing them to reach out oh my god it's messed up it's funny though I'm sorry <laughs> but it's like the spirit guide is like pushing them to reach out um yeah so that you can so that you can have the upper hand and you can have the closure because this person's ending things or they're trying to they're trying to end things with the karmic. They're trying to, the, the grass was not greener on the other side. They're trying to get away from this. Yeah, I regret letting you go. I never should have left. I'm trying to get my, yeah, all these cards are just saying the same thing. They're all just saying the same thing where this person's trying to, they're trying to, they're in regret. They're trying to get it together. They, they want to come back and apologize. They want to come crawling back to you. But again, I don't think you're going to have it. Um, anyway, I hope this helps somebody. As always, if you want a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. That email is right below in the description box. So thank you guys for watching.